What's going on guys? Nelson Dells, four-time USA Memory Champion here, and I'm gonna teach you today how to remember a single phone number. phone number. Now, I've done videos before on how to memorize numbers, different systems, the Dominic system, the major system, and I wanted to make a video that kind of shied away from systems that you have to pre-create. I wanted to make a video on how to remember a number with as minimal, minimal. work as possible. Here are a few tips on how to do that with numbers. Let's go. Honestly, if you did this, you'd probably remember a number better than any of the other techniques I'm gonna give you. Pay the frick attention. Just pay attention. If you put down your phone for a second, look the person in the eye who's telling you the number or look at the number, try to like absorb it as best as you can, telling yourself, I need to remember this number or else, chances are you're gonna remember it better than if you just try to automatically say, oh, I'm just gonna put it in my phone or you say, oh, just text me the number, I'll, I'll call you back later. No, try to actually focus on the dang number. How hard is that, right? All right, the second tip I can give you is to actually try to break the number up into little sections I like to call chunks. Yeah, not that chunk. I mean, separating them into actual chunks. What this does is if you see a number of digits all kind of crammed together, it just looks like a really complicated number. But if you break it up into something that looks like a phone number or maybe even just small little pairs or triplets, suddenly it just looks like a smaller amount of groups of digits. And that, for some reason, is easier for our brains to consolidate and remember. Look at the number after you break it up into chunks and just see if anything comes to mind. Without any systems, just look at the numbers and try to make sense of it. Whether it's interesting play on the pattern of the numbers, maybe some mathematical properties that just come to mind. Let's say that the area code is 312. That was the time when I was in high school that our classes let out at 312. So that reminds me when I see 312, I think, oh, that's when I got out of school. So I'd help myself remember that by thinking of that. And maybe the next few remind me of how long it takes a pretty good runner to run a mile, something like that, right? So you kind of pull on these different influences and experiences you have to maybe make sense of the numbers. The point being, try to make sense out of the numbers. So I did a video about a year ago on how to remember lines and it was this crazy hack where you would write down the first letter of each word and somehow it just stuck. So I wanted to come up with a technique for memorizing a single phone number that was kind of as similar. Now the whole premise on how that technique worked for the poetry and the lines was essentially as a very basic explanation is that you're paying a great amount of attention to what you're memorizing. By reading it, by writing it, by writing the first letter, by rehearsing it a few times, you're essentially, without really realizing it, giving that stuff a lot of love. Giving that stuff a lot of love. So, same with the number. I mean, you wanna give that number some love for it to stay. There's three steps I want you to do. I'm talking about a phone number, right? An American phone number that has an area code, three digits, and then the four digits. Now, I know a lot of you who watch my videos are not necessarily from the United States. I'm sorry. What I'm basically getting at here is try to break the number into smaller chunks so that you're dealing with smaller sets of number, not the whole thing as a whole. All right, so the first step is to obviously read the number, right? So let's say we have uh, 518-675-0321. If I write it like this, right, that's what the number looks like. But instead, I wanna try to write it on top of each other. So 518-675-0321. 0321, just like that. Next step is to write it out again. Try not to cheat and look, but if you have to look at the original number, that's fine. But what I want you to do is to write the number in the same format, vertically, but leave out the middle digit, okay? So five blank eight, six blank five, O oh blank blank one. So that last four digits, just put the double blank. What you then do now is then if you can remember it, great. If not, just refer back to where you wrote it before and try to fill in the middle number, right? So 58, the 518, 675, and then 0321. Next step, do the same thing, but leave out the last digit on each row. So you would have 51 blank, 67 blank, 032 blank, and then try to fill it in. 
Again, it's okay if you cheat and look to remind yourself. So 518-675-0321. Then the last step, do the same thing, but leave off the first digit. So blank one eight, blank seven five, blank three two one. And then you fill in the blank. So it was 518-675-0321. And now if you close your eyes and you think a little bit, the number should be there. 518-675-0321. Nice. And I can see it because I've written it down so many times, I can almost see the number in my mind. And especially the fact that I had to write in some of those missing digits just helps somehow cement it in your mind. Now, this isn't the best technique to keep something in your long term forever. You do have to do a bit of work um, with imagery and storage using a memory palace or whatever if you want to keep numbers forever. But this video is just designed to teach you one number when you're in a pinch and you want to actually hold it for just a little while. I'm leading up to a video where I'm going to talk about how to memorize massive numbers using a large system. So look out for that. I'm working on my 10,000 digits of pi. I haven't had a crazy amount of time, but I'm working every thousand here and there every few days that I get a chance. So I will have a video coming out on that very soon. Um, and then shortly after my demonstration of memorizing 10,000 digits of pi. All right, guys, that's it for now. Very short video, very simple video. If none of those techniques work for you, I know they're very simple, but if none of them work, you can always do this. That's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be back soon with another video. And uh, as usual, subscribe, like, share these dang things all over the place. Yeah, if you haven't gotten my book yet, you can learn more of this stuff and you don't have to watch these videos. It's called Remember It's available pretty much everywhere, so just look for it on the internet or in bookstores. Anyways, I'm out. Love you guys. Bye.